Hey, this is Scott with Offensive Group for The Armory Life, and today I'm talking about my experience shooting a ton of 1776 USA's new lead-free sporting ammunition at the range. Now, since its inception, the modern bullet has come a long way in its uh, evolutionary path, if you will. Stemming from the French word boulet or boulette, pardon the pronunciation on that one, it literally stood for small ball, which is exactly what the first projectiles were. Small, lead balls fired from smooth bore firearms. Now, when it comes to training ammo, the leaps and bounds in advancement, if you will, for what that bullet looks like and how it performs, really hasn't exhibited the wide array of enhancements or advancements that, let's say, competition or you know, precision ammo or defensive ammo has seen. Now, most modern range ammo is going to be falling under that category, the FMJ ball round, right? It's a full metal jacketed. It's a lead projectile that's coated in either a copper or some kind of a steel alloy covering that projectile. A few brands of lead free or, you know, you hear the term green ammo have emerged over the years, but none of them have really taken a market-leading position when it comes to replacing traditional FMJ rounds. So in realizing I'd not shot a whole lot of uh, synthetic or composite ammo or quote green ammo myself, I decided to give a brand I had seen hit the shelves a try, 1776 USA lead-free sporting ammo. Now this is a new ammo to market that uh, boasts a low-cost, lead-free solution that might just be as revolutionary as its own namesake is. It's an American-based company that proudly presents itself as a leading manufacturer of components and ammo. It is manufactured right here in the USA, which I always like, and they produce their innovative, lead-free projectile and their own brass. Now, right out of the box, something that I thought was really interesting is the way that these rounds look. You can see that composite projectile, it's a 90 grain projectile, has this interesting matte black finish. So this newly patent pending projectile is the lead-free composite material that's actually wrapped in a nylon jacket. Now besides looking cool, it is designed to increase cartridge efficiency by incurring less blow-by, barrel wear, and fouling. All that to boot, the cost of this ammo was comparable and actually less expensive than my regular flavor of ball ammo at the local sportsman's store here in Phoenix. So I picked up a few hundred rounds of this 1776 USA 9mm and took it to the range over a few months and put it to the test not only through my own firearms but invited some friends to the range to try it out as well. Needless to say I was really impressed with the results and the experience during what ended up being multiple back-to-back -back training sessions while cycling the ammo through a series of my favorite Springfield Armory firearms including the Hellcat Pro, XDM Elite, DS Prodigy, and 9mm St. Victor Carbine. At the range, I ran the 1776 USA lead-free sporting ammo through all of these Springfield favorites in succession, first working with pistols, then finishing with the St. Victor 9mm Carbine. Now, while I was looking for issues with feeding, cycling, and overall consistency of placement on target, I put rounds downrange on steel, splatter shot paper targets, reactive self-healing targets at varying distances and rates of fire to see how it reacted. Then I invited my good buddy, business partner, and creative partner in crime, Jeremy Tremp, who's also an Armory Life contributor, to do a rudimentary comparative sanity check against my results in kind of a shootout test. We gauged how our respective accuracy stacked up between the 1776 USA ammo versus when we were shooting the leading competitor brand of traditional FMJ sporting ammo. Our broad goal was to see how the ammo performed, felt, and essentially compared to the experience of shooting that traditional FMJ ammo. Now first, and perhaps the most important question everyone has, is throughout my testing and review, I encountered zero feeding or cycling issues on all the firearms mentioned, and the 1776 USA ammo just ran, and it ran really well. One subtle difference I did notice, however, was that the impulse and recoil when firing seemed to be lighter when shooting the 1776 USA ammo, which makes sense because that projectile is just a 90 grain projectile versus conventional ball ammo, which averages 115 grains. That's not a negative aspect, however. 
To the contrary, it really allowed me to maintain more positive control, and it felt like engaging in follow-up shots was a bit more rapid during my training. Now the velocity of the 1776 USA 9mm ammo clocks in at 1350 feet per second, and I also experimented by loading a few mags with alternating rounds of 1776 USA and the competitor FMJ ammo to aid in feeling the difference and also gauge consistency of shot placement and overall feel between the two, but it was also to try to eliminate any kind of placebo effect that I might have going on when it came to just how the ammo felt to shoot. Now, the result out of all of this uh, rudimentary testing was essentially that out of hundreds of rounds, shot placement between that 1776 USA and the conventional ball ammo was literally indiscernible. Shot placement at varying distances during training was tightly grouped, and we had ragged holes at close distance during the alternating ammo test between myself and Jeremy. Now, my takeaway on 1776 USA's lead-free sporting ammunition after running it on all these targets through varying training exercises and accuracy tests and those trips to the range is that it's exactly what it advertises itself to be. An all-American, cost-saving, lead-free, environmentally friendly alternative to conventional FMJ ball ammo. So brass tacks, as they say, when it comes to the 1776 USA lead-free sporting ammo, did it work as advertised? Absolutely did. Um, do I recommend trying it for yourself always? Give it a shot on your firearms platforms and for my sake, I'm extremely excited to go pick up all the other flavors, all the other calibers of 1776 USA ammo to see if it works just as well as this 9mm did for me. So hit up your local sporting goods store, pick up a box or two, uh, go out, try it with friends. And the benefits as listed are, again, lead-free, low cost, and a lighter shooting experience, if you will. At least that was the case for me. So if you do go out and give it a try, I'd love to hear your comments on uh, the forum. And again, this is Scott Condit with Offensive Group for the Armory Life. Stay safe out there. Shoot straight. I'll see you on the next one.